Hey guys, it's Angel of Angelo from GameLeap.com. Welcome to my video series on gaining MMR as a support player. This video is going to go over rotations. Now, obviously I'm sure you know what an, a rotation is in itself, but what does it really accomplish? What does it do? What does it kind of come down to on a more mechanical level in the game? If you ever play chess or checkers or any strategy game that relies on position, you're probably somewhat familiar with the idea of space and strengthening parts of the board. Well, if you think about Dota, it's kind of a similar thing. When you move a piece to another part of the board, you're strengthening that part of the board. But where the piece used to be is now weakened because it's no longer covering it. So you have to ask when is it good to strengthen certain parts of the board in exchange for weakening other parts of the board. Or in this case, it's basically your lanes in Dota. Like when would you rotate middle lane to strengthen your middle lane, but then you sacrifice the strength of your safe lane and leave your safe lane alone solo versus the off lane. Your rotations for the most part are going to revolve around the power spikes of cores and the power spikes of other supports. The first hero that we'll look at when comparing power spikes is Lion. What's the difference between a level 1 Lion with Earth Spike or Hex and a level 2 Lion with Earth Spike and Hex? The difference is substantial. It's really astronomical. He becomes a completely different hero at level 2. Now let's compare that to a Earthshaker for example. The difference between a level 1 Earthshaker and a level 2 Earthshaker is really not a huge difference. Even at level 3, 4, and 5, Earthshaker is pretty much the exact same hero. It's not even until 6 that you see any sort of difference in how the hero plays. So how does all of this tie into rotating? Well, like I said, a lion gets a power spike at level 2, so he's going to probably want to gank at that time. A lion doesn't really want to get level 3 or 4. It's not really a huge difference, but per minute spent in the game at level 2, lion is just about as strong as he can get per minute spent in the game at that point. So it's a good chance for him to rotate and maybe get a pickoff on your mid. Now if you are a defensive support, like let's say Earthshaker, this is a good time for you to weaken your safe lane and strengthen your middle lane with a rotation. Earthshaker being a defensive support because he's very good at level 1, just like an Abaddon who is pretty much the exact same here at level 1 and level 25 because all he's used for is using a shield to take off things like Batrider Lasso, this is a great opportunity for you to stop a snowball from going. Even if the Lion's level 5 and the Earthshaker is level 1. Again, Earthshaker level 1 versus level 5 is not a huge difference. You stun, you wall, and you stop the gank from being successful. That's it. Something else to consider are that rotations aren't free. You can't just do them whenever you want. When you decide to rotate to another lane, you are taking a large risk because you're walking across the map to do potentially nothing. You aren't stacking, you aren't pulling, you aren't harassing the lane. Again, basically doing potentially nothing if the gank or counter gank is unsuccessful. So you can't just rotate whenever you feel like it. All of these things revolve around power spikes and the rotation of other heroes on the team. Now as far as rotation targets, you'll pretty much want to gank anyone that has a streak going or anyone that has a very high gold per minute and is about to spike with an item. Heroes that are getting free farm are typically going to feel very confident and greedy and they're not going to get a ton of sustain for the lane because they think, oh I'm just last hitting freely, I don't need any sustain. And that's a point where you can recognize greed and kind of become aggressive towards it to punish it. At this point you want to look for a ganking buddy, either your middle or your off lane are usually going to be who you're pairing yourself with, and you'll want to look for them to come back from the fountain or come back with a fresh rune before you start ganking. The reason is you want your ally at full health and full mana, and you want your opponent at maybe 3 quarters health and mana, or maybe you know 2 thirds health and mana. Again, usually this is a pretty greedy play on their part because if someone rotated and it's full health, full mana with a support versus two-thirds health and two-thirds mana, obviously you should be able to win that fight. And on that subject, another tip that I can offer is that spreading your ganks out evenly throughout the map is going to be much more effective than picking on the exact same hero and killing him or her over and over and over. And that's about to do it for the video on rotations. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, constructive criticism, or suggestions, please drop them in the box below. And I will see you guys for the next video, which will be itemization for a support player.